Welcome back to our session children. In our previous session children, we have introduced about triangles, how the triangles are be, uh, said to be congruent triangles and similar triangles. Also after that we have discussed one of the very important theorem of your book that is basic proportionality theorem. So before we will proceed further, let us revise one more time what is basic proportionality theorem and after that we will discuss about converse of basic proportionality theorem. Basic proportionality theorem says that if in a triangle there is a line segment which is parallel to one of the side of a triangle and it intersect the other two sides at two distinct point then that two other then that two other sides are divided in a equal ratio or we can say that two sides are in proportion. So, we have learned how to prove this theorem. Now, in today's session, we are going to start our discussion with converse of PPT, that is converse of basic proportionality theorem. Converse says, so here the given things are in triangle ABC, D and E are the points on side AB and AC. Also, it is given to you that AD upon DB is equals to A upon AC and what we have to prove? We have to prove that these two lines are parallel that is line DE is parallel to line BC. Children here we are going to do one construction. So here we are going to prove it by the method of assumption. Let us assume there is a point E dash on AC such that this line D E dash is parallel to B C. So, this is your construction we have drawn this line D E dash which is parallel to line B C. Okay. Now, what we have learned in our basic proportionality theorem that if in a triangle if one line is parallel to the third side then that line divides the other two sides in a ratio. So, if according to our assumption if this D E dash is parallel to B C then what we can write by using B P T? We can write what we can write by using B P T that this A D upon D B will be is equals to A E dash upon E dash C as this D E dash is parallel to B C. But what is given to you? The given condition is that this A D upon D B is equals to A E upon E C right. So, this is your second equation. So, children in your first equation we have written that A D upon D B is equals to A E dash upon E dash C. But here we are writing something else what we are writing that this same A D upon D B is equals to A E upon E C. So, when you compare your equation 1 and equation 2 see two things are equal to the same thing. So, we can say that to that two things are equal to each other. It means from equation 1 and equation 2 what we will get A E dash upon E dash C is equals to A E upon E C. Now children if these two things are equal we can what we are going to do in our next step we will add 1 to both the side of this say this is equation number 3. So, add 1 to both the side of equation number 3. On adding if I will take LCM here say I am writing 1 upon 1, 1 upon 1. So, E dash C will be the LCM of these two things. Here we will get E dash C and in the numerator we will have A E dash plus this will go and multiply it with 1. So, it become E dash C here. Similarly, here also LCM is E C. So, on the numerator we will have A E plus E C. Now, see the diagram again children what we have written A E dash plus E dash C. A E dash plus E dash C gives you what? This is in totality line segment A C. So, this numerator we will replace by A C. Now, see the second side we have A E upon E C. A E plus E C is again going to give you A C. So, replace this sentence by A C. Now, check here in both the side we have AC and AC. We can cancel this AC from both the sides. So, when you are cancelling something common what you left with there? We left with 1. So, we received 1 upon E dash C is equals to 1 upon EC 
and on doing cross multiplication we get EC is equals to E dash C. Now children see this step very carefully here we received EC is equals to E dash C. We are saying that this portion AE EC is also equals to E dash C. This is only and only possible when point E and point E dash coincides with each other or when these two points are the same point. It means point E and E dash are the same points. So initially you have assumed that D E dash is parallel to B C and now you are saying that this E dash and E points are the same points. So what we can conclude it from here? We concluded that this D E is also parallel to B C. So hence we have proved converse of basic proportionality theorem which says that if in a triangle if line D E is if two sides are divided in a equal ratio that is A D upon D B is equals to A E upon E C then this are divided then the lines are parallel to each other that is D E it must be parallel to B C that is it. Now in the next steps children let us do few examples of equations where we are going to use Con uh, converse of basic proportionality theorem and basic proportionality theorem. So example number 1, I am giving you two examples, two figures here. See carefully observe the figure number 1. The things which are given to you in figure number 1 is here DE is parallel to BC and few parts are also given to you in the diagram that AD is 1.5 and DB is 3, AE is 1 and we need to find out this missing side that is EC. Now children this DE is parallel to BC this is given to you. So what we can use here we know when two lines are parallel in a triangle then we can use basic proportionality theorem and as per the basic proportionality theorem when the lines are parallel then the other two sides are divided in a equal ratio. So what we can write here it means AD upon DB is equals to A upon EC. Now substitute the values of the things which are given to you from the diagram. AD is 1.5 and DB is 3. AE is 1 centimeter and EC we need to calculate that we do not know. So on substituting and on doing cross multiplication what we will get we have EC is equals to 2 centimeter. Same way let us apply the same concept in our example number 2. Also in example number 2 the line DE is parallel to BC and the missing term here is AD. So again since DE is parallel to BC again we will apply basic proportionality theorem and we can write that the sides are in proportion. So here AD upon DB is equals to AE upon EC. Now put the things in a uh, equation, AD we need to calculate as it is we will write down, DB is equals to 7.2, AE is 1.8, EC is 5.4. Again do cross multiplication. So when you are doing cross multiplication, we found that AD is equals to 2.4 centimeter. So children with the help of these two examples you have seen that how to use basic proportionality theorem or the converse of basic proportionality theorem. Now after this children we are going to do, discuss three very important theorems of this particular chapter. One is AAA similarity criteria then it is SSS similarity criteria and the last one is SAS similarity criteria. So let us practice one more example now. So in this given figure the things which are given to us are this line LM is parallel to BC first thing, second thing LN is parallel to CD and what we have to prove? We have to prove that AM upon this whole AB is equals to AN upon AD. So children you can see this whole figure is divided into two triangles. We are going to use the concept of BPT or converse one by one in both the triangles separately. So let us start. Here in triangle ABC what is given to you that this line LM is parallel to BC and what we know according to BPT 
if these two lines are parallel then the sides are in proportion. So, write down the sides in a proportion. So, here what we will write this A m upon M b is equals to A l upon L c and this can also be modified as A m upon A b is equals to A l upon A c. So, this is your equation number 1 in triangle number 1. Now, select the second triangle. Your second triangle is A, D, C. In this triangle, the things which is given to us is A, L. This line L, N is parallel to C, D. Okay. So, again use B, P, T here. Again write down the sides are in proportion. So, what we can write now? This A, N upon A, D will be is equals to A, L upon A, C. So, that is your equation number 2. Now, carefully observe your equation 1 and equation number 2. When you see here, this A m upon A b is equals to A l upon A c and in the second case, A l upon A c is equals to A n upon N d. Again, you can see there is something common. So, we know when two things are similar to one thing, they are equal to each other. So, from equation 1 and 2, what we can write now? We can write this A m upon A b, this portion will be is equals to A n upon A d, hence proved. Now, children, let us arrive after this. Uh, we have reached to one of the another important thing of this particular chapter that is criteria of similarity of triangles. Okay. So, now children what we have learnt in our previous session that if two triangles are congruent what are the two conditions? Condition number 1 that the corresponding angles are equal and condition number 2 that their sides are in proportion. But there is an important question. Is it necessary that suppose if we have to show that two triangles are similar, so is it necessary to show all the corresponding angles are equal or all the sides are in proportion? This is a question arise there. Think about it. So, the answer is no. And to solve this question, we have different different criteria. So, let us start with the criteria number 1. Criteria number 1 says AAA criteria. So, that criteria is, so let us start our first criteria that is triple A criteria or AAA criteria. This AAA criteria says that in two triangles, if the corresponding angles are equal, then the triangles are similar. I am repeating again, if in a two triangles, if corresponding angles are equal, then their sides are in proportion and then the triangles become similar. So, here in this step, we are going to prove this one of the very important theorem. Okay. So, again we have two triangles, say triangle ABC and triangle this big triangle DEF. And the things which are given to you that the three angles of the first triangle R equals to three angles of the another triangle. Basically, angle A is equals to angle D that we have written here. Angle B is equals to angle E and angle C is equals to angle F. So, with this condition that the three angles are equal, we need to show that the triangles are similar and before that to show the triangles are similar, we have to show the sides are in proportion. So, this is what we have to prove that the triangles are similar and as I told you to show triangles are similar, first you have to show that the sides are in proportion. So, children again here we are doing one construction. What we are doing in this triangle D E F, right? We are assuming that since this A B is smaller than D E. So, in this triangle on side D E we are taking point P and on side D F we are taking point Q such that this line A B is equals to D P and this A C is equals to D Q. Okay. So, this is your construction. Let us begin now. So, here we have the proof. Now, first of all children, we will consider this two triangle, triangle A, B, C and the triangle D, P, Q. Let us take this two triangle. I am just shading this two triangle to make it more clear to you, right? Now, according to the construction, we have A, B is equals to D, P. That is because of your construction. Second thing, angle A is equals to angle D. Why? Why? because it is already given to us. And third thing, 
by construction again this side AC is equals to DQ. So, we have written or we have equated three things side angle side. So, if the side angle and side of one triangle are equals to side angle and side of another triangle. So, the triangles are congruent and what will be the criteria here SAS. So, under criteria SAS the side the triangles become congruent. Now, once the side once the triangle become congruent by CPCT what we can write by CPCT we can write angle P B is equals to angle P. Also, we can write angle C is equals to angle Q. Okay. Now, it is given to you that earlier it is given to us that angle B is equals to angle E that is a given condition and just now we have proved angle B is also equals to angle P remember. So, other if angle B is equals to angle E also angle B is angle equals to angle P what you can get from here from here we will get angle P will be is equals to angle E. So, that is your statement now from this we will receive the equation angle P is equals to angle E. Now, children carefully examine this diagram. Now, if in this diagram if angle P and angle E becomes equal then what can you say about line PQ and EF? Recall your concept of corresponding angles. When angle P and angle E are equal means the corresponding angles formed by two lines are equal then the lines are then the lines are parallel. So, from here what we concluded this line PQ is parallel to EF right. So, we reached to this step where we have proved line PQ is parallel to EF. Now, again come to this triangle you have just proved that line PQ is parallel to EF if lines are parallel. So, what you can write by using BPT? We can write that the sides are in proportion. So, write down that sides are in proportion that is DP upon PE or we can write DP upon whole DE will also equals to DQ upon DF right this step we reach here. But remember according to your construction DP is equals to what? DP is equals to AB that is according to your construction and DQ is equals to AC again according to your construction. So, in this equation we are going to replace DP by AB and DQ by AC. So, what we get? We get AB since we have replaced this DP by AB and DQ by AC. So, we received or we get AB upon DE is equals to AC upon DE. So, you have shown that in this two triangles this AB upon DE the bigger side is equals to AC upon DF the another side. You are showing that the pair of two sides are in proportion. Similarly, you can do one more thing. Similarly, you can show that AB upon DE is also equals to BC upon EF. Now, since by using these two things, we can write down that all the three sides are in proportion. So, children, your given condition was that the angles are equal. You have proved that the sides are in proportion. Angles equal are there, sides are in proportion. So, what you can conclude from here? that the triangles are similar. So, hence in this way you have proved one of the very important criteria that is known as AAA criteria where the angles of the triangles are equal you have shown that the sides are in proportion then the triangles become similar. So, children here in this way we have learnt one of the very important theorem that is AAA similarity criteria where it is given to you that three angles of a triangle one triangle are equals to three angles of another triangle and then you have shown that their sides are also in proportion and hence the triangle become similar. But again there arises a important question children by angle sum property we know one thing that all the when two angles of a triangle are equals to two angles of another triangle. So, by angle sum property what you can conclude that by default the third angle are also equal. So, if we are showing or if you are using that two triangles are similar using AAA criteria is it necessary to use all the three angles? So, the answer is no. If you are able to show that two angles of the first triangle are equals to two angles of the second triangle 
then also the triangles are similar under criteria AA criteria. So, that AA criteria states as if two angles of one triangle are respectively equals to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar and this criteria is known as angle angle criteria or angle angle similarity criteria. So, children in this session we have learned two very important theorem, theorem number one that is converse of basic proportionality theorem. Along with that we have discussed similarity criteria number one that is AA criteria or AAA criteria. Thank you so much. So, in our next session children we are going to discuss two more very important theorem, theorem 6.4 and theorem 6.5 which are two more similarity criteria that is triple S criteria and SAS criteria. Thank you so much for watching this.